Today I'm going to show you how to set up a community page inside of your piggyback blog and to link it up to your e-agency website. You're going to need to log in to your piggyback blog. This is your dashboard and you're going to need to go under WolfNet General Settings. In this area you're going to find a product key. This is something you should have gotten from WolfNet. If you do not have this yet, you should contact them directly. If you're all approved and ready to go, the next step is inside of the search manager. This is where you're going to create your search parameters. So go ahead and click area or subdivision and choose the area that you're willing to focus on on your community page. All the other choices you can select if you wish and of course this is different for every MLS. At the bottom there's an area where you can save your search. Obviously name it something that you'll remember uh, so that you can differentiate it from other searches. Click save search and you'll see it listed at the bottom. From there, we're going to go ahead and create a new page to put this on. We're going to need a title that's going to be SEO friendly. Uh, something with the area that we're going to be focusing on and homes for sale added to it. Of course, always add content and then click the paw print. Inside here, I always suggest doing a listing grid so you have photos of your properties. You can see that there's an area where you can click to grab the search we just created. You can add a title if you wish, it is not necessary. Um, actually, any other option in this area is, is optional, including the map. Um, you can decide if it goes above or below. Um, you can change the search results. And you can also do a lot of other options in there as well. Just click insert and your short code gets put into your post. Um, from there, um, you can also add to the SEO Yoast area that's below it if you wish. However, don't let this be something that keeps you from making as many posts and pages as possible. From there, go ahead and click publish and this makes your page go live. If you want, you can go and take a look at it. You'll see it says our title, our content. I opted to have a map added above the listings. And then you see all the listings for the subdivision that we chose. If you click on one of the listings, you'll notice that it will also open up inside of your website. So no taking someone to another site um, is all housed in one place. This link is what we'll be using to include this page in the navigation for your e-agency. In order to do this, we're going to need to log into your e-agency under Technology e-agency websites. Go ahead and go and update inside of your admin tool. Select If you have multiple sites, go ahead and select the one that we're using for this specific purpose. And we're going to go under Section 3.0 into section 3.1 customize website navigation. We're going to create a specific category name, homes for sale in the specific place. Another widely used category name would be communities. Go and click save and we're going to add in the specific link that we created on piggyback blog. So go ahead and copy that and then we're going to paste it in after we name it of course. Um, this one's on Davis Square, so we're going to just put Davis Square there and we're going to select the category that we put it in and click that we want it to open in the same window because it's all in the same website. We're not taking anybody anywhere else because it's all in one place. So just paste your link in, you're set to go. Just go ahead and click save. From there, you can preview your site and see it listed in the new navigation. You can click that and you'll notice that it just goes to that page that we created inside a piggyback blog. But wait a second, things look a little different on this navigation. So we're going to have to go in and update it inside the piggyback blog. Under Appearance, E-Agency. You're going to see your URL for your website listed and a button that says refresh. Click that button, everything gets updated. You can visit the site and see that the newly added pieces to your navigation are now there. 
Of course, this is just one community, and I'm sure that you're servicing many. So you're going to have to continue con creating new pages and new content on a regular basis for a good, successful piggyback blog. And this is how you do it.